Nuclear fission is a process in which an atom's nucleus splits into two or more smaller nuclei, releasing a significant amount of energy in the process. Both nuclear electricity and nuclear weapons are made possible by the enormous amount of energy released during nuclear fission. The heat produced by fission processes in nuclear power plants is utilized to create steam, which powers turbines to produce electricity. Nuclear weapons, on the other hand, use uncontrolled fission processes to produce a massive explosion by releasing a lot of energy. Nuclear fission is a very detailed and complex process that needs to be carefully controlled to avoid unintended outcomes and potential hazards such as the discharge of radioactive waste or damaging radiation. The nuclear fission process can be broken down into these detailed steps. 1. Neutron absorption. A free neutron collides with the nucleus of a heavy atom, such as uranium-235 or plutonium-239, which results in neutron absorption, thus creating a composite nucleus that is incredibly unstable. 2. As a result of the neutron's absorption, the compound nucleus is in an excited state. This condition normally lasts for a very brief period of time. 3. Nuclear fission is a process that the highly energized compound nucleus goes through. It divides into two or more fission pieces, which are smaller nuclei, known as fission fragments. These pieces typically differ in size and have a variety of atomic masses. 4. Neutron release. Two or three neutrons are also released along with the fission pieces. These neutrons can trigger more fission processes and start a chain reaction because they normally have high energy. Five. Energy release. A vast quantity of energy is released during fission, in the form of gamma radiation, as well as the kinetic energy of the fission fragments. E equals m c squared. The famous equation by Albert Einstein states that the conversion of mass produces the energy. Six. Chain reaction. Depending on the circumstances. The released neutrons may strike other heavy nuclei, causing them to split as well. As a result, a self-sustaining chain reaction is created, in which each fission event releases more neutrons, which then cause other fission reactions. It's crucial to control the quantity and energy of neutrons in order to maintain a controlled chain reaction. This is accomplished by utilizing moderators, such as water or graphite, which slow the neutrons and increase their likelihood of causing fission. There is also usage of control rods, which absorb extra neutrons. In general, the nuclear fission process entails the absorption of a neutron by a heavy atom, the subsequent splitting of the nucleus into smaller fragments, the release of energy and extra neutrons, and the possibility of a self-sustaining chain reaction, provided the conditions are managed properly.